Hello, this is Darwin Workshop. This is my next project. Thank you for watching. See you again in the video. Bye-bye now. Bum, 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 yeah. Hello and good afternoon. Welcome to Darwin Workshop. I'm glad to see you. Glad to see me. This is been and by been doing lately. Okay. With a bead, pearl gauge, three feet, and kind of rose. Or spiral. I got the red one. Okay. Three, one, two, three, band. Make it stronger. This is a spiral. Three band. This is spiral. Two band. And this is a little spiral for little kids. Three band. Okay, so what that's what I've been doing lately. There we go. I like a thick wires like twelve wires gauge okay the sizes is depend a small width this one here is i like it it fit me but it's still kind of long see i like to fit it a little bit hugging my wrist and this one here, it fit me, but it's gonna hurt me here. That's for this is a large, this is small, medium. Same thing is the medium. It's medium, and this is the largest one. Three feet, twelve gauge, kind of rosy with a bead okay now i'm about ready to get ready for a halloween party and this is the price this they will get the best costume in a halloween party okay so i'm just gonna hang it there and 
I'm going to make another style. This is same 20, no, 12 gauge and two feet only. Because I'm just going to make a, what's that, two band, okay? What I do, two feet and I, and I fold it in half. It's not even, but it's okay. We'll do a technique for that. So I put it right there. Okay. Now I'm trying to make my my favorite color is citrine. My my stone and wire color is citrine. So I'm gonna try this and it's not too small for me. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna push a little bit more like that. Probably this is 10. Let me try. Because when I put the molding or turn it into a spiral or rose, it's gonna be tightening this and it's gonna be small. So what I do, I, this is 10. Nine, nine and a half, and ten. Okay. When I insert that, I insert both both ways in the other side also. Now let's try that. Make sure I don't get hurt. Perfect. See, it's about give me a room like that. Okay. Now, if I'm started molding this to a rose or or um spiral or put a beads on it it's gonna be tidied up so it's gonna be shorter what i'm gonna do i'm gonna cut that to make just to insert and i'm just gonna adjust to fit in my wrist okay so what i do like that this was a longer, so I'm gonna do something about the longer one. So what I do to the longer one, I twist that first. Like that. Okay, but before I do that twisting, I'm gonna put this up. Okay, am I raising my voice again? I'm sorry. Sometimes my speaker is not working right. So I'm going to put this bit, probably 2 mm, see if it fit. Are you fitting there? No, so we go back to the big one. Uh, oh, let me see. Let me see this. Blue or green? Let me see. Not too, not too uh, big. This is six mm. So I'm going to put that. It will not fit. Just keep trying. Trying is good. Let's try this one. Oh, we don't fit either. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. So I finally got the six, uh, uh, six mm. There you go. So I put that after I twist that. Either it's going to be a look like a flower or it's going to be a spiral. Okay. Now make sure this one here. Okay. It's flat like that. I don't want this stone like that. 
and start bending. I want to cover that hole there with no interrupting wire over there. You know what I mean? So, so anyway, when I bend that, I make sure this is not going to to change direction. Okay. Make sure it's not overlapping or twisted. Okay, so see right there. And when I started twisting that, I'm gonna put my gloves on to protect my hands, my finger, or being slippery and damaged for the material. I'm gonna twist this. Not twist, how do you call that? Turn, okay? And then the other side, see? Bustle and bustle. I don't want to use my tool because it's going to make a mark and ruin my wire. going to scratch it, you know. So I'd rather use my hand than my nails. Like that. And this one, you hold it like that. Do the best you can to hold up. And hold the ear like this. I'm going to make me a bigger muscle on my arm doing this all the time, huh? And boobs too. Oh, well. Like that. And one more. One more. That. Hustle and bustle then. This is what it look like. And make sure that it's not overlap. You can hammer this, okay? Let me see here. Hey, how do you know? It fit, huh? But we'll see. Because if it's not fit, I'm gonna cut that to make uh, this adjustable, okay? There we go. And turn around, around. Okay. with a hammer, don't hit that beads. Okay. You can hammer it in. 
Excuse me. Nice fit. But still loose for me. I like to like that tie. And uh, that's what I say. I might cut that and make a spiral to make it uh, adjustable. Okay? You will see. If you don't try, you're never going to see it. So this is what it look like right now. And I'm just going to stick this somewhere. Okay. And you always be adjusting. If you don't look right or uneven, just adjust that. I hope it don't damage my wire. Yeah. So far so good. No damage done yet. Because this wire is uh, coated. That's why when you use it and they scratch it, they will show. So far, so good. There you go. Let me try. See, it's kind of tight now. And see, kind of tight now. Because of a wrapping, make it tighter. Okay, I'm just gonna Turn around, turn more, look around, and I'll see you in a little bit. Hello, I'm back. There it is. I just make one roll to tie it up, okay? And you keep tying it up, tight it up, make it tight. Okay. Like that. Oops. See? Let me try this. There you go. It's not too loose, just right for my wrist. I can wear it tighter if I'm gonna cut that and make it adjustable, but this one is okay, see? Like that. Hang it like that. This is nine or ten because that's what I said. The more you deform the twenty twelve gauge, the more it get tighter. Okay, nine, nine and a half. Probably this is ten. Thank you for watching. Darling Workshop. Thank you for watching.